Hello guys, thanks for watching. Adrian here from Mapsid. So uh, in this uh, in this video, I will uh, present the latest open source Python library, um, which is uh, which provides a dynamic uh, data table uh, interface over any model defined in your application. Basically, uh, if you have a model defined uh, in uh, in your project uh, with a minimum configuration. Once the library is already already integrated and uh, configured, if you want to expose this interface uh, uh, on top of your models, uh, you just need to to add a single line in the in the configuration. Let's uh, create a new uh, Django project from scratch. Uh, define the uh, a minimal application uh, with a, a simple model and uh, once we have this uh, simple code base uh, I will uh, integrate the library and uh, we can play with the code so let's go <coughs> the sample code uh, will be uh, published on uh, on github so uh, feel free to um, Take a look at the at the sample and uh, uh, check out the final uh, the final product. Okay. Tests. It's okay. So uh, once the Once the source code is, uh, once the, the project is created, I will uh, use VS Code to <coughs> open up the project. Basically, we have nothing here instead of an empty, uh, empty readme. So uh, the first step is to create a virtual environment. I will activate the virtual environment. Install Django, of course. I will increase the font in this uh, in the editor just to uh, to have a better visibility of the uh, over the commands. So we have the Django installed. Let's uh, create a new a new project. I have somewhere. Our project okay using the Django admin command so now we have here the um, configuration binds the, the Django core to the to our project and also I will um, I will create a simple app start app okay so uh, let me let me open up another project just to copy the uh, um, the model definition from this uh, from another project. So we have here now this one is empty. Uh, test dynamic API. Let me open up this one. Okay, so we have here a super super simple um, model, and um, I will copy here in the application one models. So at this point, what we have is um, it's a simple Django Django core. We have um, a minimum application app one that defines a, a book model with uh, only one field. Uh, let's do the configuration here in the installed apps. I will add app one, and of course the next steps are to migrate the database and uh, start the project. Okay, migration. Okay, migrate. Okay, and now we can run the application. Run server. So, guys, this is the 
default Django splash screen <coughs> basically we have nothing instead of uh, simple core and uh, minimum uh, a minimum application that exposes a single uh, single model uh, with uh, only one field so let's go back to to our uh, our library and follow up the steps as uh, as uh, presented here so the first thing is to install the library <coughs> once the library is installed we need to update the configuration and provide all the um, all the things that um, the library uh, requires in order to in order to execute the code and uh, build the data tables uh, layer uh, dynamically so i will open up the project configuration the first step is to update the imports we have uh, we need in our code here uh, to import to uh, uh, Python native modules like OS and Inspect, and also this is the, the um, dynamic library uh, name that we need to edit as well. So I will put here on top of the file uh, those imports. I will uh, update the installed apps section with um, with, uh, with with the library in order to to be uh, to bind the uh, uh, Django configuration um, here we need to update the template because the, the UI is, uh, is provided by the by the library and we we need to inform um, Django that we have an, a new templates directory somewhere so uh, I will add the new uh, template library, library here. The next step is to uh, update the the statics for the for the project. Uh, it's a, a good place to to save this uh, setting here under the static URL because it's related to the static files. Also informs Django that we have a a static folder somewhere uh, that we need to uh, we will use it in our code so Django will know using these settings to to solve some some files uh, used in the um, dynamic data table UI so all good until now we are almost done with the configuration the next thing is to is to add the dynamic data table to the section where uh, we defined uh, what modules um, that application has will be used in the uh, will be managed by the um, by the module basically this uh, segment is the slug so we will have in the browser uh, data table flash books and this will manage the book model which is defined by the app one so in this case is this path f1 models and we have here the definition so make sure you have this this path uh, correct uh, the next thing is to update the the routing of course because uh, the data table library will um, provide new routes and uh, those routes should be integrated as well in the uh, in Django okay and we have this also this line which uh, imports all urls uh, all the routes uh, provided by the by the library so i will put here in the in the routing file so the project is um, is um, updated the configuration and the next step is to just to uh, start the project and we should be able to access the data table uh, uh, module in the browser so we can see here that the, the new routes are available and I will access this node and go to the books 
and we can see that ID is automatically injected by Django and we have the, the field name uh, basically the same thing as, as here uh, let's uh, create some uh, some books I'm always using Harry Potter in our in my demonstration so but I didn't read it okay so of course the information uh, can be updated it's updated can be deleted as well let's create again the Harry Potter book okay uh, what we can do from here is to uh, search of course if we go here we can uh, we can search uh, we can export the information as well in PDF format so we have here Harry Potter okay so basically uh, we have a data table a UI on top of uh, a model let's uh, add another model in other in another application and uh, uh, do the same thing let's uh, uh, go back to we don't need the, the old the, the old apps okay I will stop the application and create another another app app 2 let's say okay so app 2 is uh, I will copy the, the model definition from app 1 I will put here uh, cities let's say city okay name and uh, info information default okay so basically I, I just created a new a new model in the, in the second application now we need to go to the configuration and uh, include the new, the new the new application and inform Django that uh, he should manage also this uh, this uh, new model. Uh, of course, we need to uh, migrate the, the database. So the new city city model is uh, it's uh, managed by Django, and also um, now we uh, apply the changes on on the database. So. Um, we have a model which is not configured to be managed by uh, by the data table so let's check this uh, this point i will uh, go here and um, data tables and put here cities or city so in order to make this uh, uh, this model uh, usable we need to update the configuration of course so the the things are coded in this way because uh, the developer should have full control over the over the logic if you have a model you 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 should be able to filter what models are managed or not by the by the library so let's um, go here I will create a new segment which is cities basically this segment i hope is uh, is visible for you and uh, this uh, uh, this new segment uh, uses um, uh, city model uh, provided by the second application here in this definition so again the path should be uh, application models and uh, name of the model so make sure you have this path uh, uh, as uh, correctly set set up. Okay, uh, now we have the um, the new configuration uh, updated. Let's start application. Go to the browser, and we have the new the new model managed in the data table interface without any efforts. So let's uh, let's create some items um, which is super super nice so uh, 
let's add another one Berlin wall and I will also add Constanza which is my city Mexico City okay so we have here three items let's say I want to filter city uh, based on some string so I was typing here con that uh, identifies the line with uh, with Constanza okay so this is super super nice of course the, the export should, should work as expected and all the rows should be here let's uh, go back to the to the application and um, uh, imagine that we want to update some uh, uh, we want to update the, um, um, the model visited with the default uh, false I will use only strings because are simply to 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 manage but you can use uh, whatever um, uh, field uh, type uh, whatever uh, uh, type for the field you you want the um, uh, the library will uh, manage all the definitions automatically so feel free to use your own uh, your own definitions okay so now we have a new new field uh, inside the city model of course we need to migrate the database okay and uh, once we go to uh, to the UI we should be able to see the new the new field uh, listed here with uh, with the default value so we have here visited basically the same the same field and is automatically exposed in the UI without any coding efforts so guys uh, thanks for watching uh, the model, the library is, is open source, it's actively supported by our team, so um, it's published here. Uh, more modules will be will be update, will be added to, to the library based on your feedback. Uh, in case anyone uh, uh, have issues using the library, feel free to um, access AppSit and go here to the to the support page. Um, send us an email and also feel free to chat uh, chat with us on discord we are almost 24/7 uh, and we have also a super nice um, community thanks for watching again and um, as always um, i wish you all a super super day bye guys